Good evening. I'm Anna Olson here on A1R Radio with my show, my weekly show, Insights into Consciousness. You can reach me at AnnaOlsonIntuitive.com. You can also reach me on Facebook, Anna Olson Intuitive. And I have just an all caller show today. I'm just going to do readings all this show. So whoever has called in and is waiting is going to get all of me today. And um, I just want to go over what I offer for services. I do readings on the phone. I do readings in person. I do medium readings. And I also do just a regular energy life readings, which can include anything that comes through that your guides tell me to talk about. I also work with angels and um, the highest and greater good for divine purpose. So that's where I get my energy and that's where I get my messages. So I always protect first and I'm... um, from a Christian background. So I always throw that in there that if, um, like, let's say you're not really sure if you want to do a reading and you're not sure where that person's background is from, I'm very compatible with people who are from a Christian background. If you'd like a medium reading or you'd like to even just talk to me about that, go ahead and contact me. Again, you can reach me at AnnaOlsonIntuitive.com. It's A-N-N-A-O-L-S-E-N intuitive.com or on Facebook, Anna Olson Intuitive. You can message me there. Um, I do get a lot of messages in my inbox and Facebook, so I go through them as I can. So just know that it might take me a little bit to get back to you if you do it that route, but Anna Olson Intuitive.com is your best way to go on the website. So um, just a little explanation of how I go into readings. I start with what I see. So it's it's not always the same. It's always, always different. And usually readings are very, very different from person to person. So um, what you may see or hear even on my show would be completely different in person. Um, and every single reading is different and unique. No two are the same. So um, basically I get whatever high frequency messages come through. Love and above, meaning higher frequency, positive energy. I stay on the realm or the uh, frequency of positivity, universal consciousness, positive universal consciousness, so that um, whatever comes through is for the highest and greater good. And I know I'm getting that message in that that direction from the right place. So um, in addition, I, I always work with whatever the person needs. So if you want to bring in, like let's say a um, item that a loved one had, or you're wondering where an item came from, um, if it's an antique or whatnot, then I'll be happy to look into it for you by reading the energy. So now I'm going to do a reading. It's Billy Joe in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Uh, How are you tonight? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for calling in. What can I do for you tonight? Um, I just got a couple of questions. First one, I just want to ask about my ex-father-in-law that passed away earlier this year. And I just want to know, is he trying to communicate and is he at peace and has he crossed over? Okay. Um, you know, um, I the first thing that I felt was um, children, do you have children? Yes, I've got four of them. Yeah, because I really feel like he, um, the first thing I got was a real direct connection to the children that he has been sending them signs that he is still a little bit earthbound right now. Um, you said, how long ago did he pass? Sorry, what was that? How, how long ago did he pass, please? Um, about six months. Yeah. So, um, it, I really feel like he still may be a bit earthbound. Let me just explain the process of when spirits pass and cross over. Sometimes it's a process and everybody's different. And the really great thing about when people pass is that they choose where they want to go. They choose where they want to be much of the time. It takes about three days for them to really get used to the fact that they've crossed over. They're usually earthbound during that time, but they can choose to stay earthbound for a little bit longer than that. And they can even go to the spirit world and back. Yeah. So he, I really feel like he's still earthbound. Um, 
he can cross over whenever he wants. It's not um, anything bad or wrong in his case. You know, it's just he is still communicating with people here. He's not quite ready to um, go to the next level quite yet. He's speaking to yeah. the children, your children, through different signs and symbols. And um, Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. and he is, I, I really feel like he, he, his transition away from um, the earth plane is going to be a little bit more difficult just because of the children. Was he really involved, Grandpa? Yeah. Was he really close to the kids? Pardon? Was he really yes, close he was, to the kids? Very. Yeah. Great. So I really do feel like he is, um, is still really connected to the children and he is, um, he just feels like he needs a little more time with them. Right. That's great. And I That's see him. Really good. Um, Thank you. I see, you're welcome. I see him out where where the water is. I see him out, um, basically uh, traveling. They do space travel where they kind of go to different places um, after they pass. So sometimes they'll go visit places that bring them peace, or just they like to look around and travel when they're. Wow. Around. Cool. Did he like to fish or did he like the water or the beach? Was that like one of his favorite places or hunting maybe? He always loved the water and the beach. Okay. Because that's where he's really, um, he's really residing there. So if you were to go to um, maybe the water or the beach, he would, he would show himself there through different things such as, um, you know, like if there was a dragonfly or um, a bird or something like that, he would make himself known, whether it be like they um, surprise you um, or something like that. So you can watch out for that. Okay, thank you. Because I often go in to his grave site and talk to him, but yeah, I feel I'm talking to myself, but that's good to know. Yeah. Um, it could be, uh, the reason why you feel like you're talking to yourself is because, um, I feel like he's sending you a message that you don't have to travel to his grave. It's okay if that's, that's comforting for you, but he's around you guys all the time, no matter where you are. So when they, oh, when spirits go nice. somewhere, it's, yeah, it's like the blink of an eye. It's really fast. It's like lightning. They can go wherever they want. If you think about him, he'll be right by you right away. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. That's great. Okay, and just one other question. Okay. Have I woken myself up again to the guide through the spiritual world? And am I capable to progress? And are you capable of what now? Direction. Pardon? You said, um, can you repeat the question? Okay. Have I woken myself up again to the guides in the spiritual world? And am I capable to pro progress with the readings and healing? I just want to know if I'm in the right direction. Okay. I, I do feel that you are going in the right direction. I think any time that we're we're wondering about these things. We're going in the right direction because you're you're consciously thinking of it and it's on your mind. So that's already an indicate an indicator that you're on on the right track and that you're going in the right direction. The only okay. thing I'm seeing is something about um, the physical. Now, is there um, now? I don't know if it's um, it's basically like diet and exercise and something like that. You're either overdoing it or you could increase. Okay. Yes. So that's, that's just one way to look at. Just to increase either, um, I, I'm either seeing overdoing it or underdoing it with the exercise and the diet. So um, to not tax the body with anything that your body doesn't like or to make sure that um, you're just eating really healthy foods and exercising in a, in a nice balanced amount, not overdoing it when you exercise. So that will actually really help yes. you yeah, spiritually. Great. Okay, then. Thank you. 
You're welcome. So I'm going to move on to my next caller. You can always reach me too if you'd like to elaborate more on your reading um, at AnnaOlsonIntuitive.com or on Facebook at Anna Olson Intuitive. Thanks so much for calling in. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next I have Stephen in Pennsylvania on the line. Yes. Yep, thank you for uh, answering my call. I appreciate it. Of course. So um, I had a couple questions. Um, My first question is I've been divorced for about a year, and I'm very close. I made a really good connection this past year with a friend, and I was just curious if it was going to be more than a friendship at some point, or do you think, do you feel like I'm going to meet somebody else in the near future? Well, this is really good news for you because I feel like you're going to have a couple of options. You're going to have this friend. Oh. Is this somebody from your past? Um, we're currently friends, but we worked together for uh, okay. like seven years ago. And then we both right. kind of moved on with our lives. And then we reconnected about a year ago. Okay. Yeah, because I, I feel like um, you guys are very familiar with each other, which is good. But I would just let you know that this this person from work may get it may get a little bit boring a little quickly, and that's just a heads up. It's it's your guys' personalities, um, so you would you would really always have to be sure that you're you're doing new things, new new exciting things with this person from work. Um, and I do mm-hmm. feel like there are two other people that are um, that you would be able to start seeing or get closer to. In addition. Oh. Am I going to, have I met them yet or do you see me meeting them like soon or relatively soon? In the next year, you will become familiar with these two and you may not even at first think, oh, that's somebody that I'm going to be with. It could just be in passing, you know, or in your social circle or whatnot. Um, Mm -hmm. Or even, um, are you on any online dating sites? Um, yeah, um, I'm kind of like off and on on them because I get discouraged sometimes and then I get yeah. encouraged. <laughs> right. So I feel like that may even be a resource for one of them. Oh, and to just, okay. yeah, just keep looking, you know, just keep, keep on there. But you know, this is funny. I'm kind of, I'm getting that your, um, that maybe you should take another look at your profile pics because um, I'm getting that it, it, you're um, better looking in person than your picture on your, your profile. I guess that's a compliment. <laughs> so that, that could help a little bit. <laughs> that's a compliment, to, right? It is a compliment. That's it's a compliment. It's Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. You're, you know you're what? I'm probably one of the, yeah, a couple of the photos I actually debated about redoing, to be honest with you. Yeah. But I just, hi. But I just really um, never got around to it, I guess. And then I deactivated right. my account for a while. Because yeah, I it's really somebody. important. Yeah, it's really important that you get a, a picture with really good lighting, and that the the that you know when your picture that your picture depicts how you truly look. Because I think that um, you know you you look much better uh-huh. in person, and that's important for women to know. Nice. So makes yeah. complete sense. Yeah, and um, you know when you're kind of competing a bit against a bunch of other people, and all they're seeing is your picture uh-huh. at first, it can get overwhelming for them too. Like, how many people do I have to go through? You know, and they get a little overwhelmed, so they really have to get picky. So the pictures are very mm-hmm. um, important, and they should just be casual, and they should have a lot of lighting, and you know, it should. Um, now, do you? <laughs> this is going to be a funny question. Do you tan easily? Yeah. No, I don't. I'm pretty yeah. white, pretty pale. It's okay, because I feel like if you, um, you know, kind of made your, your skin look a little bit darker in the picture, it would really enhance it. Not that your skin color is bad now, hmm. just that the picture would draw more attention. And uh. there wouldn't be any disappointment in person. It would just be, draw more attention to the picture for you and right. your look. That makes, and that's that makes sense. Yeah, the, so that's the person I'm talking to, the the friend I'm talking to now, like we do spend a lot of time together. I mean, we're, we make great friends. Should I not even pursue it, or do you think I should just 
wait it out and see if there's a more of a connection. Like you're saying, um, well, you know, there are potentially two coming up in the next year. Yeah, I, that's totally up to you. the the basic The basic premise of what I'm seeing is that you have you're going to have three options. It's always up uh -huh. to you, your choice. You're going to have more fun with one of the three, but she's going to have a few issues like emotionally that are going to be a little uncomfortable. So you're going to have to be making some choices with these women. And um, mm. the, it's, it's going to be like the, the, the one from work. When you're at work, you're in a different environment. If you guys were out like socially, um, you know, I know that you guys mm -hmm. have been, but I think that it can get a little bit mundane and kind of boring with this one, not because there's anything right. wrong with either of you, just the, the compatibility of your personalities. Um, mm -hmm. it, you guys are more the same than what you'd need to have a more exciting bond. So the, the, hmm. uh, the differences need to be a little bit more, um, prominent to have more fun. Um, I don't want you to get in this like systematic, boring, um, you know, movie every night type lifestyle, because I don't think that that would be, I think it would just feel like you're married again for forever. And it's yeah. not like, you know, like it would just trigger a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I do have so, another question too. I don't know if, oh, go ahead. I'm go sorry. Ahead. No, go for it. Okay. So, um, so I'm looking into moving back closer to my kids because there's a lot of stuff going on with my ex and she's like the primary parent and she's currently living with an alcoholic and there's just a lot of craziness going on. If I moved, which I most likely will at this point, like, will I eventually, cause I'm going to travel two hours cause I live two hours away, three days a week. Um, is it a, a wise choice? Like, will I end up eventually getting, after I move, getting a job at a closer college in that area. Like, I understand that I'm going to have to commute the first semester because I teach as an adjunct at a college. Mm -hmm. so I guess I'm wondering, is it going to work out? Because I'm looking into moving closer to my kids to be there for them. But I'm a little bit worried that, um, you know, I'm going to have to drive two hours a day to get to my current job until I find another college in that area to teach at. Does that make sense? It does. And I'm feeling yeah. like, first of all, you know, the two hour drive is going to take a lot of time away from actually spending time with your kids. So I'm seeing uh -huh. that the best case scenario would be to get the job first and then make the move. And really let the ex know that she needs to set boundaries and do the right thing while you're mm -hmm. in that process, because you can't come in and save her. You can't come in and save her. Like I really feel like she's been making some kind of bad decisions for a long time and she needs to actually have a consequence, you know, like, Hey, we need to go to court or something like that. If she's not really setting clear mm -hmm. boundaries with this guy and with the lifestyle. So she needs to grow up a little bit and do her part. Um, in the interim, mm -hmm. I do think it would be good for you to, to move. And maybe that's where these other women are going to be coming in is after your move. Um, mm -hmm. and I would just say, get the new job first, because this two hour commute is going to be draining and it's going to be all that time you could have been spending with the kids anyway. It's going to take away from that so much that it's like, why even move sooner? Because you're going right. to spend so much time. With the commute, and it's going to be exhausting. And I feel like you hate traffic and you hate like the driving thing. I mean, it's not that I um, hate it. I don't mind it as much because I have satellite radio and I, I just kind of get into my own music zone. <laughs> I'm kind of a, yeah. a positive, happy, outgoing person. Anyway, my other question, if you can answer one more question, is I'm into law of attraction and vision boards and stuff like that. And I was focusing more on money. Mm -hmm. And um, I keep getting signs now that I'm going to be attracting money in my life. And like the past week, the past two weeks, I've won $200 on two different lottery tickets and $100 from the casino. So do you see me continuing with that streak? I don't know if you can talk about law of attraction and manifesting on your show or not. Oh, yeah. I love it. a law of attraction and manifestation. It's one of my favorite topics. Huh. Um, awesome. you know, 
yeah um you know i really like this is what i'm getting for you is that um it's it's about for you it's about being really careful about the thoughts of um being without quote unquote you know this um basically like doubting your law of attraction and, and your magnetism to the money this is very common i think everybody has it it's um you know, I only have a few minutes left because, so I'll just make it quick. But, um, I think it's more about letting go of the attachments that you may be holding mm -hmm. on to about, Oh, I've got to get more money. Got to get more money. I think that you're starting to kind of bring it in because there's actually more of a, an, an awareness that if you believe it, it'll happen. And so what really, really works is to kind of relax about it and not be so attached to it coming in, but just to know and trust that it's there. And that you're very oh, deserving. that makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's amazing right. how when you focus on something, like you see it. Like if you just kind of spend time, you know, just like other stuff too. Like if you're trying to get a good job, and you can, you know, can, it's, it's, like I just I'm fascinated by the whole law of attraction and our ability to manifest stuff into our reality. Yeah. So, all right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. You're welcome. Of course. Thanks for calling in. And the other thing you can do. For, for an FYI yeah. for the um, law of attraction is um, you mm -hmm. write down your goals and what you're, you're going to manifest. And that is manifesting currently. We have to use that language, right? Um, so you're going to mm -hmm. write that down for your conscious mind to really organize it into your conscious mind and really start introducing those words into your mind, like, you know, abundance, a dollar amount, those sorts of things. And then, you can put a picture, whatever that is. It could be, um, you know, some people do vision boards. Some people put, um, like, let's say a statue of something that reminds them of, like, increase in money. Some people get, you know, what they call a money uh -huh. tree, and they put it by their door, and they water it regularly and fertilize it regularly. And that, you know, that's their reminder. But there needs to be a subconscious visual that you're going to kind of take in every day on a daily basis, whether it be your vision mm -hmm. board with a picture from a magazine, a dollar sign, or it could be um, some people drop a penny um, in a little jar when they come in, in the door when they come home or when they're going out the door. Every time they go in and out of the door, it's just this subconscious reminder that you're, you're drawing in money. And um, right. it, what it does, too, is it, re, it readjusts those thoughts of doubt or too much attachment of, oh, I've got to remember the money. I've got to get the money. You know, that real rushed feeling, this <laughs> law of attraction these things are going to flow in naturally and it's going to feel very um, relaxed. That's when we're really, really practicing the law of attraction. It's going to feel very natural to you. It's not going to feel rushed mm -hmm. or hurried or desperate or anything like that. It's going to feel very natural and normal. And before you know it, it's just coming in and it's just flowing. And um, it's because the attachments have been released. It's about being in the present moment rather than worrying about mm -hmm. the future, or ruminating on the past. You know, that's, really where it is so um you know i really do love this topic and you know even like the christmas tree with lights um anything with a lot mm -hmm. of color a lot of light in the house that can really actually bring in a lot of money especially if it's green there's something about the colors the chakras and the, the body the energy the electromagnetic magnetic field of the aura that will mm -hmm. bring all that in so um there's so many different components you can bring in it just depends upon your personality and um what you see as you know valid and that really resonates with you personally great Okay, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. It. Thanks for calling in. Of course. Bye. Bye-bye. So we had um, two callers, two readings tonight. The first one was a medium reading on the woman's um, father-in-law, just to kind of go over that a little bit more. I did feel he was still earthbound. And um, there are many times where um, spirits, they choose to just stay on the earth for a little bit. We're in different dimensions. We're talking about different dimensions in different places. It's like walking through a doorway into one room or one area, one world, which is just an earthbound um, spirit world on the earth where they can still see what we're doing and still visit us and send us little messages, signs, symbols to let us know that they're there. They're still thinking of us. Sometimes they're not quite ready to leave us yet or their grandchildren or their children. And, um, and then when they're ready, they graduate on there. They're always working with their guides um, to do this. And, uh, you know, there are very strict rules and regulations about this. Um, it's all based on science and just 
laws of science that cannot be broken or interrupted. So that all works together perfectly. And um, at one point, they can move on to um, the, the other dimensional spirit, spirit world, which is still a lot of the time on this earth. It's still in the same um, place, just in another dimension. And it, it's kind of hard to explain if you've never really seen it or been there. Um, but that's based, that's it in a nutshell. Nutshell, and then the second one, um, we're talking about a lot of attraction and money. So uh, it should feel very relaxed, and we should just invite with the law of attraction. We invite love. We invite money. We invite a good career. We invite whatever it is that we want to attract. And one thing I love to put out there um, that I've also practiced and achieved myself is a passive income. Um, many times that's overlooked so people really say oh i want that career and i want to get more money and they don't think about the fact that that career that they want more money from may be more hours and it may be a more stressful work so they have to add in little details like um stress fee stress free job and career with a great income and this is my dollar amount and this is you got to put the details in there um i want healthy wealthy clients you know there's lots of different things that you can add in there um so why not put a passive income if that's what you want? Why not put uh, an income while I'm traveling or on vacation? There are a lot of ways that you can do this and it just has to adhere to what you love and how you love to spend your time. So I'm, uh, my time is up. Again, you can reach me on Anna Olson Intuitive on Facebook or AnnaOlsonIntuitive.com on my website. I love doing readings. I love connecting the spirit world to this realm and just interpreting and giving giving people messages from their family members it's great work and I absolutely love doing it I'd love to speak to you anytime so contact me and I will see you next week here on A1R with Insights into Consciousness I'm Anna Olson your host and I will see you next week